Hey guys, this is GT108X987, and I'm here with another video on my Hackintosh computer. And um, I am very happy because I've got pretty much everything working that I need to. Um, the trackpad does work now, the keyboard does work, everything's working. Um, the one, the few things though that aren't working that I had to fix. Are, um one thing I had to get a yeah, you can barely see it but the green light is a Wi-Fi adapter and I got that online for like six bucks so it's not much for having Mac on your computer it's kind of worth it if your Wi-Fi isn't working out of the box um, another thing I finally got working was my sound driver so you you'll hear that in a second Alright, so you guys can see that works. Now, uh, I use, I like Google Chrome a lot, so let's show you what happens when I use a Google Chrome instead. When I try it, see, it goes, it shows me my desktop. The sound goes, but it shows me my desktop every time I try and play a video on Google Chrome on YouTube. So I don't really like that, but there's not much I can do about that at this point. So, um, shut up. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, on the top, where on the menu bar, you should see my battery indicator right here. But that has not been coming up. And uh, if I go to my uh, system preferences, and then I go to energy saver... Now, it shows you an option that says you can, like, it'll show up on your menu bar. But if you see, every time I click it, it unclicks itself. And then on the top, as I click, it just, you know, it doesn't work. Which kind of sucks, because I tested it out, and I, I wanted to see if it would, like, alert me before the computer shut down. And, like I guessed, it just um, shut down without telling me that my battery was low. So besides that, that's about it. Everything else is working. Um, it wasn't that hard to do. Um, it, like I really recommend it if you guys prefer Mac over PC and for some reason can't afford it or whatever your problem may be. But um, definitely try it out. I would recommend though that... Um, you get a separate hard drive because I tried this one time a while ago. This might have been about a year ago, actually, and um, I couldn't get my Windows partition back. So it might you might make a mistake. Something might happen. So I'd suggest putting this on a separate hard drive, like I've done. Um, let's see. Also, after you download it, if you haven't done it. Like, I did it, I guess I kind of did it a weird way. But, um, if you look, it says I have version 10.6. Now, I decided this morning, or I'm sorry, last night, that I wanted to update the software to 10.6.7. And that wasn't such a good idea, because it makes you restart your computer, and then right when I restarted it, it crashed and it would not even boot at all. So I had to reinstall it. I had to reinstall all the CACs and drivers and everything. Which I guess wasn't too hard to do. But um, I just be careful. Um, some people have been able to get it work and to work. And I really wanted it because I wanted to use the app, Mac App Store. But I can't really see that happening anytime soon. Unless there's a way to get it and get the Mac App Store without getting... Uh, the update, which I'm going to look into, and I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about my system and or anything, how to do it, um, there's plenty of videos, and I'll try and link you to one if you need it. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.